hell of a good sunset. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Well, the fact that the Magnum and the 1566 are sitting here, K Money's pickup sitting here, and the corn head is off. They are combining soybeans. Let's go find them. So, a few years back, I actually chopped a bunch of this down here for them, and the farm actually bought some. Inko decided he wanted to go for a run, wear some energy out, but. Yeah, good looking corn for a drought year. So this is some of the stuff that we were down here checking out previously. Um, we're gonna go look at those soybeans that are actually treated with source and see how they compared. I don't know how much Frank's got going. I was actually tinkering on my own stuff and he had hit me up and said, if everything is working, uh, we will be combining. Open. Oh, it's pretty freaking wet right here. Uh oh. Yeah, there's standing water right there. Uh, whoops. He must have cut up somewhere here. This, so the issue that he's got coming along here is it's supposed to rain like two inches of, uh, two inches on Sunday afternoon. So they combine, they're working on combining anything that will flood. And this place can flood very quickly and very easily. Um, so all back there will be underwater probably. So soybeans underwater, not so good. Corn can get through it as long as it's gonna dry down, but or dry out some. So yeah, I definitely, he must have cut up or something. So we'll figure it out. Another day of chasing the combine. So we're out here. Frank soybean field. Stuff looks pretty freaking good. I'm gonna jump in the sprayer track. And he's diving right into it. So we'll get some comparison numbers as far as yield increase or decrease or however we want to work it out, whichever way it goes. But for a drought year, these are pretty good looking beans. This is his first first go on this stuff. He just switched over from corn. So, 2144. We've seen all sorts of machines so far this fall. Frank's getting a little go go juice. Hey, where do you put the government juice on this? Nowhere. So, what are you thinking? A little adjustment? Yeah, I'm going to close my shoe. That's not a bad sample, though. Oh. Yeah. See, if those were dry bean stems, they're weed stems. If they were dry bean stems, you just put a little more hair to it. Yeah, and it would blow right out, but the weeds actually... Uh, You're going to blow... How they're wet and I'm gonna start blowing beans. Gaining. So, this field split in half and pretty much identical size from this side and that side, so gives us a good idea of what goes on here. They look better over there, but we'll see. These were all no-tilled beans, dry condition. Um, with a grain drill, so seven and a half inch spacing, and yeah, came right along for being a dry year. First load going off. How many yeah. bushels this hold? I think two fifty, roughly. Okay. How many bushels of grain buggy hold? Five and a quarter. If we heap it up, it won't quite uh, won't quite fit two hoppers. Two hoppers in there. 
green buggy is rather convenient here just because you gotta go a ways to the trucks, so. Mm -hmm. What kind of pizza do you think you got? Cheese. Oh, he's got fries too. Fries too? Yeah. <laughs> he's excited. Food's key to harvesting though. The people want to know what kind of pizza you got. Take these calzone. Wow, calzone, you really balled out. Really balled out. What'd you get? K-Money coming through for you. Yeah, this is <laughs> pretty presidential. Wild times. Definitely don't want to starve. So they do a lot of quail hunting here. Pheasant. Pheasant. The state stocks. Oh. Like there's two of them right there. Yep. I thought they were quails for some reason. No. Aren't they the same thing? I have no Damn idea. Damn close. That's you know? a ring neck method, I believe. Oh, call look that. at you go. Friggin' Educated. all the information. Some guy walked by and he said, you're only allowed two. Yep. So. Go well, stock, stock them every night. Really? Uh, I think Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they stock them. Huh. We must have seen six or seven hunters since we've been here. Yeah, they're right they're after. Not scared. Kevin ate so much Stromboli, uh, <laughs> it just got flat on the one side. Weighing it down. Yep. Just about done with this half. Two more passes. Then maybe a little on the edge, but sun's setting. How much further we get along here? Just ride it around. They're almost full again. Yeah. Good thing we got Kevin over there. Yep. Same in race. Yeah. Little unloading. Been full. Hell of a good sunset. So he's gonna finish up this field. He still has that field to do tomorrow. And then we'll have some numbers in. But the dew's coming on and it's making it tough on some of the beans. He's just gotta strip down and then he's done. Gaining. There is some comments going on as far as I just go around and film other people's stuff. Frank was after the trial as far as with source. And I have always gone around to other farms and filmed. Two years ago, we went to Sloan. We went to W.I. Millers and Sons. Uh, Smolowski's. I think I said that wrong. R right. Probably wrong. So I've always gone and seen other people's stuff. Yes, I'm not doing as much farming for myself at all. I'm still wrenching on things. People are like, oh, well, why aren't you doing your own stuff? Like, what, you should focus on what you're doing. I am waiting on the loan to either go through or not go through. And then I'll figure out what I'm doing for the rest of it. Um, if it goes through, we're going to go farming at our own place next year. If it does not go through, we'll probably find somewhere to rent, bounce around, do some stuff, do some custom farming, do some manure hauling, but hopefully we'll see. That That's where we're really at. Um, yeah, so I appreciate everybody with the support um, and the people that comment all the negative stuff and still watch the video. I don't understand why people would do that. Like, it doesn't make any sense. If you're that upset about it telling me to shut my mouth and uh, i should have shut my mouth and kept farming with my family operation no why why would you ever want to do that and it's like the people that go to work and work is miserable and they have a dream and they're working towards it and work still miserable why would you ever want to do that so i got a dream i got an off-farm job like financially i'm perfectly fine i don't have to go farming to like I'm not struggling at all um, but I'm not able to go out and buy a million dollar farm two million dollar farm with cash so that's where we're really at but I appreciate everybody that I ride around with to hang out show equipment stuff like that um, and if you look back there's quite a lot of videos of me riding around with other farms showing things off so currently we're just we're just going with the flow seeing what's up and if you don't enjoy it, then don't watch the videos. It's not that hard. 
Um, but he's got one little strip left there. What a night. And that little strip there. And then he'll have to leave the rest of the beans over there for tomorrow. And hopefully he'll get to that before it rains. I think tomorrow we might go pull out discs so we can run our own ground um, and finish that up on probably Tuesday since I'm expecting parts to come in on Monday for the tractor. So, yeah, that is where we're at. But, alrighty, I guess I'll uh, catch you on the next one and I'll update you on what the bean comparison was and we'll go from there. There is more. We'll jump up there. So, yeah, the 1566 on the chisel plows. Old auto car. This thing's a tank. Yeah. Holy! Loaded her, boy! Nothing but proper load from K Money. Yeah, buddy. Oh wow, I made it on the big big door. Right? Fancy. You can pick a sticker up with every order from duffyag.com. Go hit it up, right? Like and subscribe. Yes. Frank's got this budget light that he's uh, utilizing to wipe up all light next to it. Yeah. As you see, outperforms it so. Hit up it. I know somebody said enough with the flashlight commercials, but promo code Duffy10. Link is down below. Is this your late night tire guy? Yeah. <laughs> Sat Saturday night at seven o'clock, tire guy. Now they're all lined up. Big timing. So, alrighty. We're gonna get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching.